Hi, Gary from Super Skids here. Today we're going to be installing Super Blades XP on an eSky Honeybee Fixed Pitch version 2. The first thing we want to do is take our blades out of the package. And inside the package is a set of blades and a set of little spacers. And the spacers will be used to hold the um, fiber plate, stiffener plate here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the blades and we're going to install them onto the, the eSky head. And we're going to do that by snapping them on, on. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit, but they will snap on there. Just like that. And do the same thing with this one. Now, once they're on, I'm going to take the two screw holes here and line this up with a point on the edge of the blade, on the tip. And I like to do it about halfway up to the flat point on the on the tip of the blade and I'll just sight it right down like that and turn this so it's about lined up now the blades come balanced at the factory but it's always a good idea to check them now what I have is my little homemade balancer here as you can see I made up from a couple of uh, pieces of landing gear that I cut in half and I'm going to turn this, put the blades on top and see how well they balance here. And that one looks pretty good. You'll find that you sometimes have to give the blades time to get acclimated to the room temperature before they, they balance. Um, sometimes also a good idea to get rid of any static that might be on them. If your hands are static, you can generally just, it, it affects the blade. I don't know if I can show this here or not but you can't really tell there I don't I don't have much static on me but once that's done check the blades make sure they're balanced and if you should check it a couple of times because sometimes you might say well they, t they, they need balance and they really don't they just not acclimated to the to the temperature they've been in storage or in the package and, and they've been rubbing up against the plastic and they've gotten static and this static is pulling down toward the table or something like that so check them two or three times now once we've got that done we're going to put these little spacers onto the screws the best way to do that is to get it started a little bit. Get a little twist to hold it in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's on there a little. And it's a good idea to have a nice screwdriver. And just hang on to that spacer with your fingers and screw it in. And you have to squeeze the spacer pretty tight. Don't be afraid to use a little muscle on there. If you have to, if you find you have to use a little pair of pliers or something like that, just don't mar it up too bad. But I think most people can do that with their fingers. And we'll do the other one. Get it started. A little twist on there. And we'll screw that right in there. Okay. Now we want to take the fiber head stiffener and put a screw right through it and make sure that that stiffener goes all the way over the little spacer. I don't know if we can see that here or not. And then we're going to put it over the blade holder and get it started. Well, this is probably something I want to edit out. <laughs> Come on, let's get in there. There we go. Get that started on there. Get the other one through. Not as difficult as I'm making it seem. There we go. 
Now I want to make sure that the stiffener is fit over the over and up. Make sure it's hooked on to those spacers. If it's not hooked on to the spacers, then the head will flex too much. That's just true whether you're using super blades or any other blades, stock blades or whatever. You want to make sure that that stiffener is over the mounting post for the blades. There we go. Well, that's done. Now all we have to do is clip it onto the bearings on the honeybee head, which is right here. And to do that, I'm just going to put it over there, put my thumbs underneath the bearings, and pinch, and down it goes. Now we want to make sure that this is balanced level here. If it's not balanced, I'm going to move one blade forward or back, or both blades a little bit. But this right here is on there pretty good, so I don't know if we can see it with a camera angle, but it is balanced nice and level, so I don't have to adjust anything there. The only thing left now is to put the little ring-like dog bones back over the head. Spin it around. You want to make sure your head assembly is nice and loose. This is a little tighter than I like ordinarily. I really should be able to balance the blades even with the, the ring lights connected. And this one here, I don't know if I would or not, but this isn't too bad. But if it's tight, if this is tight, your helicopter isn't going to fly well at all. You want it the looser, the better. That's it. Didn't take long.